happy EDS Awareness Month. I can't believe it's come around quite so quickly again. Um, I'm Chronically Jenny, if you're new here, and this is my fourth annual set of EDS Awareness Month videos. So I'm very pleased to be bringing them back this year for a year that's hopefully going to be bigger and better than ever. I am bringing you people from across the world with all different types of Ehlers-Danlos syndromes and hypermobile spectrum disorder, so you can get to know a little bit more about what it's like to live with these conditions. Hi, my name is Iga. I'm Jeannie Dubon. My name is Izzy Kornblau. My name is Laura. My name is Catalina. Hi, my name is Bradley Jones, also known as uh, Veds underscore Zebra on Instagram. Hi, my name is Alexis. Hi, my name is Desiree Schwartz. I'm Gemma. Hi, I'm Becca Baca. Hi, everyone. I'm Haley. My name is Sydney. Hi, my name is Jamie. Hi, my name is Jelly. Hi, my name is Jess. Hey, my name is Amy. Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, my name is Kim. My name is Leslie. Hi, my name is Maddie. My name is Natasha. Hi, my name is Raquel. Hi, my name is Rebecca. My name is Suzanne. Hi, I'm Meg. Hi. My name is Taylor Thompson. Hi, my name's Jenny. I'm from Essex in the UK. I'm from Alberta, Canada. I come from Australia. I'm from Chile. I am from Ohio. I'm from Poland. New York City. I'm from London. I live in Switzerland. I'm from Ireland. I'm from Portugal. And I live in Aberdeen in Scotland. And I have hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I have the classical type of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Uh, the subtype of EDS that I have is called Vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. The Ehlers-Danlos Syndromes are a group of connective tissue disorders which vary in how they affect the body. But they're generally categorised by joint hypermobility, skin hyperextensibility, which basically means stretchiness, and fragile tissue, which can occur anywhere in the body. There are currently 13 types of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, as well as hypermobility spectrum disorder. I could reel off thousands of definitions of the different types and we'll get to talking about some of the rarer types later in this series, but I really wanted you to hear not a dictionary description of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I wanted you to hear how it affects people on a day-to-day -day basis. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is... Unrelenting pain. Pain. Painful. Having painful dislocations or partial dislocations that are also known as subluxing. Constant pain. Constant exhaustion. Fatigue. Like crazy. It's tiring. Fatigue that seems like I'm going to pass out but I don't and honestly at that point sometimes I just feel that it would be so much easier if the body shut down because it's so uncomfortable and distressing. Debilitating. Nausea. Gastric difficulties. Nausea and vomiting. I am most severely affected GI-wise. Uh, di digestive tract dysfunction. Uh, most of my digestive tract from the moment you eat food to the moment it exits your body just does not work properly. Chronic migraines. Fragility. And instability. Stretch marks. The intermittent and unpredictable symptoms. One day I'm fine, the next day I'm not. It's mobility issues. Uh, if you need a mobility aid at a young age, people are really judgmental. Some days walking across my house seems impossible because of pain or dislocating or fatigue or just flare-ups in general. Joint instabilities, dysautonomia and anxiety. Central lines. Uncomfortable. Fainting. Mouth stuff. So like high palate, tongue tie, crowded mouth, crowded mouth, yeah. Joint pain, dysautonomia, uh, intolerance to medication. Um, chronic dehydration. Isolation. A mental strain of being chronically ill. It's a lot to handle sometimes. And having many other illnesses. Getting injured. Hospitalizations. EDS is painful, upsetting, demanding, restricting, and scary. It is such a complex disorder that so few even doctors fully understand. Challenging. Misunderstood. It's frustrating. Uncertain. Underdiagnosed. Invisible. It's not just being bendy. Uh, scary. Confusing. Unpredictable. Unpredictability of the location of the pain, the intensity of it, feeling unwell, and other symptoms that come and go. Ehlers-Danlos to me is dislocations, fatigue, 
walking into everything, uh, mainly door frames, occasional desks, uh, brain fog, um, and pain, uh, but also strength, uh, definitely strength. Strength, resilience, and hope. Most importantly, resilience. I suppose pain and instability and and gastro problems, but also, um, you know, the fact that it's taught me resilience and given opportunities that otherwise wouldn't have arisen. Resilience, despite difficulties, I know I want to live a life with functionality, so I always try to be aware of my limits and live right in that edge to make the most of everything that life can give me. Eye-opening and life-changing. Community. Adaptability. When my body really can't give me more, I have to be creative in finding new solutions to make my tasks easier. Uh, family. I am Zebra Strong. I am Zebra Strong. And I'm Zebra Strong. And I am Zebra Strong. And I am Zebra Strong. I am Zebra Strong. I am Zebra Strong. And I am Zebra Strong. I am Zebra Strong. Thank you so much for watching the first video in this year's EDS Awareness Month videos series. I hope you will continue to watch the rest and hopefully learn a little bit more about Ellis Danlos syndromes along the way. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd hit subscribe. We will see you next week for another video.